global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings. Today we do have a trending news for you and the headline reads See the Biafran financial and economic giant that Nigerian government failed to utilize but South African has South African government has recognized. But before we go into the news proper and further analysis, we do love you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead. Click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Okay, let's go straight into the news of the day. The South African president, Cyril Ramfosa, has appointed Dr. Mrs. Ngozu Okonjo-Iwela into his economic advisory council team as a country that South Africa is battling recession. Well, all right, that's, let's, that's the news. Congratulations, Dr. Mrs. Well, but before we you know go into further analysis you know profiling this woman who she is and all that let's hear what nigerians are generally saying judging from the fact that nigeria is also in the same predicament with south africa and yet we have such an expert slipping through our hands down to south africa but let us hear feelings of what nigerians are generally saying on this this one here say congratulations you are blessed everywhere is blessing you will also serve your motherland biafra very soon i got this a biafra talking this one here saying very soon you will be made biafra central bank governor it's a matter of time congratulations this one here is saying it's only those who know the value of gold that keep gold we have no atom of doubt in our mind that south africa and her president have made the wisest decision that will bring the country out of her present economic depression. Congratulations to our own and our dear world-renowned economist, Dr. Ngozu okonjo Iwela, on another recognition of her work by South Africa, the current directionless government of our country that sees nothing good in you. We witness South Africa excel in no long time. Now that you are taking charge there, be assured of our prayers as you take up this assignment. Wow, even Nigerians are praying for her over this. This one here says, Ipe Mio, she will revitalize the economy the way she did for Nigeria for years. She would have allowed South Africa to suffer because after helping them now, tomorrow they will start fighting Nigerians. Okay, this one here is saying, Congratulations, ma'am. It is good to know where you are celebrated. Nigerian leaders should all die mysteriously. Mm -hmm. This one here says, Why well, Nigeria is wallowing in poverty in the midst of abundance because incompetent people are occupying positions of authority. South Africa has taken a Nigerian egghead to reposition a staggering economy. Kudos to South Africa for being smarter. Let Nigeria continue to borrow. Mm. Strong one, I tell you. This one here says, Every country that understands the importance of having a strong economic team in the scheme of things in a country recognizes the worth of Dr. Mrs. Okunjo Iwala. Unfortunately, affidavit certificated and puppet president cannot recognize her worth. She was the coordinating minister of the Nigerian economy in 2020. 13, 2013 and the economy was rebased resulting in nigeria becoming the largest economy in Af africa very true my brother very very true i concur in 2014 nigeria organized a well-attended world economic forum placing the country on the, in the pedestal of greater economic growth but alas those who, do, who don't appreciate the worth of a prophet in his own country rejected the GEG administration and opted for a NEPA bill certificated man as the president. <laughs> I'm laughing Swahili. Look at where Nigeria is today from 9.3 trillion debt in 2015 to 33.3 trillion as of March 2020. What a shame and a retrogression. Mm, this is strong indeed. This one here says, when the powers are in the hands of uneducated ones in Nigeria, how will they know the value of education? Nigeria is blessed. Congratulations, madam. This one here says, Nigeria will never grow if we do not stop this religion difference, tribalism, nepotism, and so 
on. That's a strong one too. This one here says, Great, the stone which the Fulani Zoo rejected has become a cornerstone in South Africa. Congratulations, Mrs. Akonjo Ewela. You have the beer from brain, the beer from blood is running in your veins. Once again, big congrats to you. Mm, this one here says, God bless Nigeria. Other countries usually say the best in their intellectual capacity, but our own leaders would appoint incompetent people based on ethnicity sentiment. So strong indeed, I tell you. This one here says, Nepotism blinded Buhari from seeing potentials from an Igbo man or woman until this night of Nigerian economy. He appointed one Mr. Obiora as deputy in Central Bank as figurehead. Mm, this one here says, during her reign as minister in Nigeria, the world witnessed economic recession, but Nigeria never witnessed it due to her professionalism. She was among the two people shortlisted for World Bank president, but her last government didn't see the potential instead struggling to bring her down. I'll take one more and uh, this one, I'll take two more and then uh, we'll look into this properly. So it says, congratulations to this is a woman our former president used. APC decided to remove her. Now other countries now see her value, but Nigerian government are wicked even in the midst of suffering. God will judge this present government from president to senate president. Okay. So I say, ha 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 I laugh in Swahili. The uneducated can never understand the need of education, especially when they are satisfactorily rich. Okay. That's how much we will take on the fillers in Nigeria and um all around the world, Nigerians talking over the um, appointment given to uh, Dr. Mrs. Okonjo Ewela. Whether it is, uh, some say it is head, the other one says that he's just a member of the committee. Whether member or head, it's a good one. The fact that, you know, they recognize her, her pedigree enough to bring her into a team that will take South Africa from recession into a global giant. Let's quickly have a an overview of who Dr. Mrs. Okonjo Ewela is. You know, very quickly, Okonjo Ewela served two terms as finance minister of Nigeria. I'm talking about 2003 to 2006 and 2011 to 2015 under the dispensation of Olusegun President, ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo, and uh, uh, Dr. Ebele Goodluck Jonathan. And in 2013, just like one of the respondents says very correctly, 2013, 2014, she with her team of experts, you know, took Nigeria out of recession and made Nigeria one of the global African uh, fastest growing economy in Africa, such that they were projected by 2020, Nigeria should be a giant to, to behold in Africa, even among the world best, you know, and the way they were going, the, our GDP so it was so high that you know the the, the world radar came down to, to the certain monitoring and Nigerian economy and all of that you know and but the, the only challenge I had with that particular dispensation was the fact that you know put quite a lot of corruption you know you know siphoning money here and of course she eventually spoke her mind but then she was just a financial person. She she she's not the one running the hands of affair, but did she did she did her best, and, the, and we all, we all felt it in the economy. But then let's see one or two things about Okonjo Ewela, as in Doctor Mrs Okonjo Ewela. She spent 25 years of her career in World Bank as a development economics development economist and grew to number two position as the uh, managing director in operations. I'm talking about 2007 to 2011. So this person you are seeing is not a my, is not a mediocre. She's not a local champion. I'm talking about an internationally recognized champion. I'm not talking, I'm not looking at you don't that's the problem we have. We keep playing ethnicity cards. Can you imagine one who had been who had worked have a working experience in World Bank as a 25 years working experience. That's not beans. You can't pick that as moi moi anywhere in the world. That is experience that can't be bought. And this is not someone who is just talking about theory. She's got practical. She's got experience, you know. And she grew to number two position. That's the managing director operations. And it's not in Nigerian economy. I'm talking about World Bank. And I'm surprised Nigeria, this dispensation that is wallowing, borrowing, cannot even recognize it and begin to look for, you know, sentiments to put in. She served two terms uh, and, and 
In her education, she's a fellow in American Association of University Women, which means she's got some a lot of professional, you know, pedigree to her experience, and that is something to behold. You know, she also made the list as one of the fifty greatest world leaders. As I'm talking about in 2015, that's a strong one. You can imagine fifty greatest world leaders, and this is someone that is a Nigerian with with an Igbo. You know, in Igbo blood in her, but because probably because she's Igbo and all that, then they, they don't want to put her in uh, uh, Nigeria because sometimes you don't know what you have until you lose it very soon. I know that the uh, South African economy will receive the much needed boost because her experience is wonderful. One of it also is the fact that one of her pedigrees, for the top, she, uh, she was one of the top 100 global thinkers, you know, in 2015 as well. Uh, and she's also one of the top 100 global thinkers, foreign policy 2011 and 2012. I know that's a strong one. We are more than how many billion in the world. And she's been given and recognized as one of the 100 global, top global thinkers. Wow. In 2014, she was also named the finance minister of the year for Africa and Middle East. This was done by the, the banker 2004 and also Euro Money in 2005. And also, she restored Africa uh, uh, invest. Also done by uh, African Investment Magazine in 2015 and 2005 and 2014, respectively. And this is strong, really. You can imagine the global recognition she has been receiving, and yet they don't feel that she has what it takes. She's not just um, a, a, a an academic. She's not just an academic. She's um, an academic doctor. She's got PhD. She's studying in the United States. She studied in Nigeria. She's got working experience. I just want to give you an idea, a preview of who a Dr. Mrs. Okonjo Iwela is. She's not like one one respondent says. She's not a an affidavit certified woman. She's not someone who just got the certificate briefly and you know and had a little experience. She's a, 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 a round a square peg in square hole. She's a round peg in round hole. She knows her onions. She has been recognized back to back internationally. She's known by her worth, not because and the, there's nothing like stigma stigmatizing here though she's a woman she knows her onions and whenever she comes into a team she tries to bring in her best and i'm so surprised we have such a person in nigeria as a nigerian and a south african just entering recession quickly picked her up and here we are borrowing back to back when we have an a developmental economist she's she studied regional development economics economics economy and yet we have that we need such a person such a hand in our economy so that we stop borrowing you know unnecessarily in fact one of the times she the right up um Peter O.B., uh, that's the, the vice president, presidential candidate, a uh, PDP, the last dispensation, uh, uh, the last uh, presidential uh, election. Peter O.B. said something very unique. He said, during the time of good luck, Abele Jonathan, uh, she was practically begging Nigerians and begging the presidency then, so please, we need to save. We need to save for rainy days. Although Nigerians were angling and getting angry, why should we save? We need a lot of projects to be done and all to be done. Why are you telling us to save and all that? But eventually, Nigerians saw what she meant by saying they should save. I'm not calling her total strength because sometimes it's very difficult to manage a people. But yet in her own way, she was able to, you know, cajole and manage the Nigerian economy. And we didn't see this level of depression, recession in Nigeria. And we were even tagged the fastest growing economy in her time. And yet we are playing down on the very value. We need. You know, sometimes it takes uh, and a very educated person to recognize another very educated person. So sometimes if you do not have educated, so much educated person in a team, you feel that um, you know so much, you know, you feel what's there, isn't that? You know, if you if you are employed in a, in, a, in, a, in a company and they said we need an accountant, so what do you really need an accountant for really? It's not just to, uh, I buy, when I buy, I remove the money for my profit, I sell. Somebody I buy, I write that I have bought, then I sell, I write that I have sold. You think it's that easy? You may not say you may say you don't need an accountant. Not until your company wreck, you find out that you're eating your capital. You don't have profit. You don't have capital. That's when you now realize that the work of an accountant, though they look so simple, but they have importance. They can guide you to say, look, be very careful. You're already encroaching on your capital. Or oh, we didn't make much sales in this October. We need to look into the November so that we can improve on it. Or oh, this product you're buying is is not you know profitable. Why not put a pot to this product because it looks like it's on high demand because they can. 
easily see the trend. They are trained and wired for it. So they know how to read the economy and advise you accordingly so that you don't go into the recession. But you know, if you don't, if you're not trained and you're not an expert, you've not done back to back experience over some of these things, you just feel it's, it's not rocket science, it's just rearing of cow. Really, what does it take to rear cows? Not to carry stick and hit the cow, and the cow obeys. This is not cow rearing, this is Nigerian economy. And I'm, I will say, congratulations to uh, South Africa, they have made one of the honestly sentimental side, they've made one of the greatest choices without sentiment. You see, the pedigree is speaking for itself. This is not sentiment, we're not bringing out sentiment. They're Bad degree is speaking for itself. Certificate recognitions are speaking for itself. She doesn't need to blow her trumpet. Her experiences, her awards, her, her honors are speaking for her. And other countries are recognizing it. Our own is not. Okay, let's go to our comment section. What do you think about the fact that right before us we have a gold mine and another came to harness it while we stand there 